Hey, what's up, guys? We're well, back here, and today we are playing Alakir Combo Shaman. And I know what you guys are thinking. What the fuck is an Alakir Combo Shaman? Well, hear me out. Alakir Combo Shaman is a deck where you win through Alakir and criminal lineup. And I know you guys are thinking, like, what the fuck? This man is on fucking crack right now. He he is he is on a lot of substances. I saw this list today online and it looks sick. So what you do is you go Alakir that costs zero is a bone lord. Then you rock biter it. Now he's a six six. You criminal lineup him. So you now have four six six Alakirs. They have charge and wind fury. And divine shield so they can attack kill something and then attack your opponent's face and you can just kill them and it seems so fucking cool i just had to try it um so that's how this deck works i'm very excited to try it out i've yet to try it out and uh yeah anyways with that being said how about we queue up the first game and let's see how it goes all right guys yeah i think that's the perfect way to go from here so yeah let's uh let's queue up and let's Hopefully get some dubs. Alright guys, yeah. With that being said, I'll see you guys all in the first one. Alright, so it's a disco lock. I I did read what the creator of the deck was known. I'm not the creator of this deck. As I said, I found it online. Said. And he said that this matchup is fairly okay. Due to... All the ways you have in the early game to deal with boards. Schooling is pretty... Sp Sorry, I have the hiccups. Apparently, schooling is a pretty solid to kill the one threes uh, that they play. Um, I wish I didn't have to play this, but I have to play this here. Yeah, so schooling is really good at dealing with the one threes, right? Because I just need to play two of them and I can kill a one three. Uh, Malchazar's in. Then you also have Snowfall Guardian and you also have the um, the classic combo of Ice Fishing, Fire Mancer, Flirt, Toxfin to kill all their shit. Um,. Yeah. Uh, that is fine. Let's do this. Ice fishing is a fantastic draw. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play the orb here instead of playing this. One, I don't wanna, I wanna limit my odds of drawing a Murloc this turn because there is only two in the deck. So I wanna draw it with this. And then I can play this as well next turn, so that's fine. Um, but yeah, I I want to get this combo working once. I only have to get it working once for me to be happy. That is unfortunate. As long as he doesn't discard anything too good. Okay, that's a really good discard so far. That's a really bad discard for me. Um, yeah, I can draw this. That's fine. I want to do this, this, this turn, but I want to play this more. I have to do this. So there's the criminal lineup, which is pretty good. Now we just need to find like three more cards and we have lethal on turn 10. <laughs> That's all we need. Easy. Um... That's so good for me, the fact he's actually just playing it. I will definitely take that. Hold him up. That's not really nice. Saving two health here is not that big of a deal, but it's still very, very nice. Um, I actually could have donned for this, this. But again, I want to lower my odds of drawing these tubes. I want to get max value out of drawing them with the ice fishing. Uh, but yes, uh, so I wanted to say uh, real quick for the reason I not streaming today which is you know what i wanted to do um i was exposed to someone that had the big c you know the, the big virus that's going around that's still going around i guess to this day uh i'll take this just more card draw evolve is very very good just devolve this this has tomes in it so i'm really okay with that uh this is gonna draw the other. Oh, no ancestral knowledge. I didn't realize I was in the deck. Uh, what the fuck does this do? Let's go with this. 
Uh, that's perfect. It's a one mana kill something. Uh, yeah, so I was exposed to someone like that. So in case I'm feeling like shit, I'm pre-recording this, obviously. Uh, so this is pre-recorded or recorded previous to when I um when I'm uploading it. So just so you guys know, uh, that is a thing. Um. Hmm. Okay, that's fine. It's not ideal. I do take a fair amount of damage here. Well, I definitely want that. I don't want to play it right away because I don't. I'm not holding the whole combo. That's a really nice draw. I can save myself two health here by doing this play. Uh, I'm gonna go with the knowledge here. I think. That's fine. Taking three damage here is not the end of the world. Healing Rain does heal me back up to full. And then I'm ready to play the Knowledge as well. So I'll have exactly five mana next turn. Uh, and yeah, we're just looking for Alakir and Rockbiter. We just have lethal. It's insane how the Zoo player has not had to tap till turn six. And he had, what, eight cards in hand prior to it. Like, that's fucking wild to me. It's also insane to me that we've gotten through one Tome of Tampering without him actually playing a card. Like, without him actually discarding anything. Which is really fucking good. There's second criminal rot line up. Okay. So now all we need... Um... All we need is the Alakir. Right? And we just have lethal. That's pretty good. If I can survive till turn 9, draw Alakir here, and this way I can go Toxfin, Firemancer, Flurg on 9 plus Bone Lord, I just win the game, right? Like, that's just the fact. I just win the fucking game. So it's pretty good. I don't need that. Right now I'm just hard digging for combo pieces. What battle crest have I played? I don't think I've played a battle cry yet, so. Uh, I'm not really getting pressured down. Three damage is nothing. Uh, I just need Alakir. Give me an Alakir top deck one time. One time. You just played four discard cards. Like four of the cards you want to discard. He's just played them. It's so good for me. Fine. Depending what I see here. Cooling is actually not bad. I'm going to deal two damage to everything here. Uh, deal two damage to everything. And some two threes with taunt. So this thing just comes back three times. It's actually kind of insane. Why did I fucking take the schooling? I'm an idiot. I should have just smelled it. I thought I had more mana than that. I'm dumb. Whoops. Uh, Alright, well. Two turns from now, I can just win the game technically if I top deck Alec here. Uh, persistence. There's a lot of really good draws in my deck. There's a lot of very good ones in my deck. So, well... Almost all the draws in my deck are, like, insanely good. He's played both of his silverware golems. I feel so bad for him. There's your tome, finally. So bad, actually. <laughs> What's sad is, like, I'm in such a good position, but I might just be dead here. You know? It's kind of fucked.
that's a fine card. It saves me a little bit of health by just doing this and then this. I'm some two, three tots. Three, he takes four next turn. So he has to kill me this turn. I don't think that deck could kill me this turn. He dies to Cataclysm. Uh, he dies if he discards three cards. I'm fairly certain I just win. Killing that Malchazar Simp slowed him down so fucking much. It's actually insane. That's fine. You can play all of his discard cards. I don't genuinely don't care. And the Soul Barrage doesn't do enough damage. Plus Double Fist doesn't deal nearly enough damage to kill me. Like 15 total. I'd be at 17 health. He dies to my Hero Power next turn. I didn't get to do the combo though. So sad. He didn't let me do the combo. How much is he gonna get overkilled by? That's what I wanna know. Pretty impressive. If I do say so myself. Pretty impressive. Um, well, I didn't get to do what my deck was designed to do. So, I guess let's go to the next one and hopefully we get to pull it off. Alright guys, yeah, I'll see y'all there. Alright, next is a rogue. Um... I don't need this in my opener. I don't really want this either in my opener. I'm gonna keep the geyser just because it can dredge me up a good card. Cooling's also pretty solid on one. I, I've seen that a lot of people started playing this in Shadowwalk Shaman. And honestly, I have to say it's fucking awful. I tried it. It's not good. Would not recommend. Spellfire Guardian is a beautiful top deck. Look at this beautiful top deck. Look at this guy. Uh, I love this card. This is one of my favorite cards that come out recently. Won me so many games, that might be why. Oh, it's Thief. Okay. Okay. Oh, I see you. I see you, my G. Um. Interesting. I've not seen the Thief Rogue in quite some time. Um, but yeah. Uh, fuck. I was, I wanted to say something else in this video that I never said. And now I'm confused. Well, I guess I'll just say, I'll take this time to tell you guys to grab a drink. I'm currently drinking a glass of carbonated water um, because I am a psychopath. That was a bad discount. Feels bad. And time to start looking at my draws. <laughs> There's actually so many good potential draws I can have. That's really good for him. That is a combo piece, but I can always get it back later. Do I want to wait? Nah, I'm just gonna go for this here. It's really, really efficient to do that right there. Doesn't use all of my mana, but still very efficient to just kill him that way. Or at least slow him down that way. I'm just worried that he might have like a couple of those uh, pesky, like, dirty rat effects. Brilliant Macaw is a great way to slow him down. That is not an ideal draw. Not at all, in fact. Hmm. Interestingly enough, something like Hemet is such a disgusting draw. Hemet is a very, very good draw. Um, I just want to hit, like, Ancestral Knowledges. Like, Ancestral Knowledges would just be really, really good cards for me to hit. Just because, I mean, the amount of card rate, like, just two mana draw two is just so fucking good. I love that he's actually worrying about my guy. 
That seems like a downgrade if you ask me. That's a board wipe. I'm gonna try and get him to commit a little bit more to the board. If I can get even like one more decent costed minion, like if he plays a six drop here, uh, I'm in fairly good position. Let me Vendetta stab with weapon. I would really, really like him to play one more minion. Um, I'm mean, gonna slow it down again one more turn with Brilliant Macaw. Another piece of removal, but I'd rather get a different card. Perfect. Uh, I hate this game. Oh, much. Okay, well, we had one draw that was fucking useless. Uh, I do need to play this soon to get that. I, I mean, I don't need the first rock biter I see. Uh, it's fine if it's at the bottom. Uh, because there's another one in the deck. Just if I see another one, I kind of have to take it. That's why this dredge can be something a little bit more useful. Uh, yeah. I really wanted to play something here. What? I'm trying to think, what could he have? Okay, that's fine with me. He thinks I'm Shutterwalk, which is really, really good for me. Because he's playing this meta, this matchup as if it is Shutterwalk and not a deck with an OTK. Definitely don't want that one. That is a very good card. I do have to burn this though now. It's fine. It's not ideal, but it's fine. He's going to put in a lot of effort to kill this Firemancer Flurg when he doesn't have to, which is really good for me. Right, because I don't have another Murloc, and I know that, but he doesn't. So, I'm expecting an insane, like, overextend to try and kill it. Or, I mean, I don't have a good answer to it, but... Never mind. That was not an overextension at all. I guess he just had the perfect card. Rukon is a very good card for me to draw. It upgrades my hero power so fucking much. Uh, I'm gonna summon some 2-3s. And deal two, I guess, and then freeze it. Uh, so it's a two threes and deal two. I don't need the health. Um, Hammond is a very good draw. This is a very, very interesting draw. Hmm. What have he played? Bolt and Evolve? I forgot he played Avalanche. That could have hit his own board too, right? Tess is not. Yeah, target's chosen randomly. As Avalanche is... A minion. Yeah, I got really unlucky there. Do I want to Devolve? Yeah, I'll take a Devolve. The rock biter. Do this. I can't play Hammett yet because I need the rock biter weapon. Uh, I am going to play one of these though. I know this didn't change and it wasn't to change the stats. It was to change this card. Uh, I don't want him to play a Togwaggle scheme targeting Tess. Uh, I guess I, I, I should have known that he couldn't. Um, but I'm still did not want to see that. So I'm much more okay with spending resources to diminish it than to risk getting fucked by that. Uh, hmm. There's a lot of really good draws I can get. Or hopefully I hit one of them. One of them. Um, like, Pestilence would be such a good draw here. Do this with Hero Power. Get the Rock Biter. Just 
fine. I basically only want to hit heal and summon some two threes. I don't care about hitting any of the other ones. Cutlass. Cutlass is a very good card from to hit. This. It's fine. Not ideal, but fine. Oh no, he punched with his face. I'm weirdly enough not happy about that. That does help a lot. It does kill this. But there's just so many really good cards in my deck. Well. Take one here. Uh, that's awful. The so torrent's at the bottom of my deck. So that means there's two persistence. There's all the combo pieces left. I'm super okay with this. That's fine. Yeah. He can't attack with his weapon now. Aha, bamboozled. It's not exactly a good hit. Well, now that one can't get discounted again. Look at the bright side. Uh, I just have to worry about this, basically. Snowfall Guardian should be good enough to delay him in other areas. I just need to hope that the last two cards in my deck are not both criminal lineups. Okay, that's pretty good. I could have actually played this here. It lowered the cost of one of these two spells that I actually care about. Um, ah, fuck. It was like one of the few cards I did not want to see. It was just something to add cards from other classes to his hands and he could start attacking more. It's a minimum of four more attacks. Although he might want to save some of them to get like double cast. So it's probably like six more attacks, which is lethal on me. Really good draw. Tell me this turn. This is actually just kill me this turn, right? Oh, this is a death rattle. Oh, no. I thought this was not death rattle. Oh, I fucked up. <laughs> I thought this was a battle cry. Which that sucks. Um Okay. Maybe he kills it and doesn't devolve it. That's a mage spell. That could be a polymorph. One of the nine different poly effects. Oh no. He's chaining them too. Okay, well. No, it's parts at the bottom of my deck. Fuck me. Hmm. Okay, that's fine. It's fine. Oh, PM. The amount of ticks I have to get of that is absurd. This is the right play. I want that to hit here. Because then two ticks of this is actually enough to do it anyways, right? This would be down to six, then down to four. This would be zero, this would be six. Then technically two ticks of Emperor would be lethal. Um, like basically I did this play to make him want to do this trade. Because we also have to wait all the way to like the bottom, the last card of my deck to torrent this. Then I could go off 
I'm playing this next turn. Although I have to get three ticks of this, which is the closest thing I'm pretty sure to impossible I can do. Um, fuck, if that would have landed here, I won the game. Here or here? Beautiful. Okay, GG. G motherfucking G. This works the way I think it does. All right, beautiful. This should cause zero. I've yet to play a spell this turn. Obey my command. Oh, it worked. <laughs> this deck is so great. Oh, I love it. Oh, I fucking love it. Wheels! <laughs> oh, that is so fucking good. Oh, what a beautiful thing. I'm speechless. That is, that is perfect. What? This is so beautiful. <laughs> Brings a tear to my eye. It's so beautiful. I fucking love it. Also, I completed the Lich King uh, thing. I said I was going to do that on stream. Um, so, um, I didn't because I wanted to play it. Um, so, I mean, also to be fair, I figured that 99.9% .9 of people watching me have already finished um, the Death Knight thing. Uh, so, yeah. Also, I get a new skin. Is there a Lich King one? There's no Lich King one. What the fuck? There's a Demon Hunter, but no Lich King? Alright, I'm not exactly sure what I want to get. Uh, uh, am I? No, next time I stream, I'll let you guys decide uh, what I get. Because I generally don't know. But I do know that I want to open a pack. Um, because I do know that that... What I just did may or may not have been the most beautiful um, demonstration of skills imaginable. But fuck was it hilarious. Um, I genuinely thought that this deck was fucking beautiful. Whoever created this deck, I don't know who you are. I just want to thank you. Um, the, 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 I don't... I genuinely don't even know what to fucking say. This is, for the longest time, like, Alakir is the most useless legendary in the fucking game. Why the fuck am I paying, you know, 8 mana for a 3-6 Divine Shield Taunt Wind Fury when I could pay 5 mana for Leroy that also does fucking 6 damage, right? So for me, it was always like, this card is awful, this card will never see play. But now with Crinimal, like, bro, that's just such a sick combo. Sorry about that brief cut. Um, I had to help my dad or something. But uh, no, yeah, so... For the longest time, I just thought Alakir was awful. And now to see that there's a combo deck that uses Alakir that does above the 40 damage that 40 deck, like 40 health decks play. It's just such a beautiful deck. And honestly... This deck, I don't find nearly as... I, I don't find it as fun as Shadowwalk. I shouldn't say nearly as fun. I just don't find it as fun as Shadowwalk. Shadowwalk being my favorite deck in... Favorite or second favorite deck in all of Hearthstone's history. Like, I have, like, a top three. Which is... Patron Warrior. The, uh, Shadowwalk Shaman. And... Uh, Q-Block. Like, those are my three all-time favorite decks. One of them got murdered by Blizzard. For the classic meme of... Anytime there's a broken card, give it plus one attack and charge. Uh, this is going to be the nerf. Um, Q block, I mean, Q block is just a lot of fun. I love playing that reanimator serial style deck. And then Shadowwalk is like my classic combo deck that I love playing. Um, but this is like probably top five, like top 10 guaranteed, possibly top five. Those two other spots are, they're, they're, they're very, like, there's, like, Pillager Rogue that I would consider one of my favorite. Dead Man's Hand. Um, you know, Combo Druid decks. Malagos Druid. Uh, things like that. Uh, Secret Paladin back in the day. Like, all these decks are decks that I really, really enjoyed playing. And I think this might, at least in the two games I played, 
this definitely like gets up in there uh, of like i could definitely see myself playing this deck throughout the season and have it just be some sleeper deck that i genuinely think is really good um but yeah no anyways there's not much else to say also tomorrow tomorrow's a death knight video uh i was i was getting asked so once the de first death knight video tomorrow and i'm not saying that i might do three or four death knight videos in a row but i do want to try out one deck with unique for each gem type i don't know if there's legendaries that are unique for each, each gem type but i'm gonna look into it i do want to try all three types minimum so however many videos that takes that's going to be uh the next couple of videos if you guys have any deck lists for death knight decks um please leave them down below i am very curious to see what people have come up with i've been looking at a couple online here and there i have free time throughout the day and uh yeah i'm very 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 excited to try it out uh but yeah anyways with that being said uh i hope you guys all enjoyed today's video i i fucking know i did this deck is great deck definitely recommend trying i believe yeah legend he's part of the core which means everybody has alec here hem and i don't think is right no hem it's the only one that you might not have uh is emperor part of core no there's a couple legendaries but i would definitely recommend trying it out anyways with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed leave a like subscribe as always follow me on twitch twitter and i'll see you guys all in the next one peace